guys, it is the moment I've been waiting for. The moment I never th thought I would be at this year. But we're here. I'm at my first BE90. Um, we've come to Little Downham. Um, and if I haven't said that enough times, I've literally been harping on about this event for a very long time. And um, yeah, we've come to do our first BE90. So Ember is raring to go. Justine's just helping me stud up. Um, we've got nice early times though, haven't I? Yeah, you think we're finished by... Finished by 10. Which yeah. means that I can get to the coast for lunch. Oh, it's not the coast. Stanhoe's not the coast, is it? It's on the way to the coast, but okay. no, it's not the coast. No, <laughs> it's inland. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking, but that's my reward. I've even put my Sunday roast in the oven before I left. No, you haven't. I have. Oh, the big joint of beef? Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Um, well, my dressage is in under an hour, so I probably need to keep going. Don't feel my bum. <laughs> the rare sight. <laughs> it's not a rare sight, it happens every time. What's happening next? Um, I need a wee. <laughs> I need to plait his forelock. Uh, Come on then, let's go. And then I need to get changed and then we need to warm up. Go, let's, let's go to the loo then. Let's go to the why? Well, I, I thought we were vlogging everything today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? So, can I make a request? Yeah. For show jumping. Yeah. Can we um, unplat him? Because I hold his maid. Yeah. Hello, maid. I don't know if I'm so worried. But I know you're not going to immediately push him off but make sure that he knows what you're asking. Yeah. yeah? Welcome to the dressage test, uh, which was test 97 2016 B90 test. Um, so you can see a little sparky on the way up to the um, center line here, but I managed to get him kind of back with me and just relax. Uh, for those of you who watched my last event vlog at Little Downham, it's a bit of a different picture, much more tension. Um, and I mean, he's a little bit tense going across here. Uh, but at this stage, it was already significantly much better than last time. So the judge's comments are coming through um, saying that he could be more supple and um, he needs more suppleness into the contact, which is which is correct. Um, he does need more suppleness into the contact, but uh, this is a work in progress. Um, but I'm just trying to keep him with me, keep him, it's really difficult. There's that fine line between kind of guiding him, supporting him, not being too firm, not being too light. With Ember, it's a very, very fine line. Um, but we were getting some sevens in her. So, uh, in fact, we got quite a few sevens in this test, which was quite nice. I think also when you kind of have to work with what you've got, 
uh, it's very important to be accurate. That will help you get the marks because even if the you know the contact is not as consistent, um, if you're hitting those circles with the right measurements, then you're not going to lose the marks. Now, I don't know if my 15 meter circle was 15 meters there. I think it, they didn't say otherwise. Um, I got a seven, so yeah, totally fine. We can we can cope with that. The canter transition, very surprised with. Uh, left canter, no, I think left canter is his better canter, actually. Um, and they didn't really have anything to say about this. They just said regular steps. And I think that looks really nice. We got a seven for that. But, I mean, I would say it's creeping towards a 7.5. Trotting over X, he actually came back really nice. I don't know what the heck happened to my circle shape there. But... It wasn't very, very good. And now we're getting to the walk. So in this test, there was not a free walk. Uh, it was a medium walk. Now, again, I have practiced this a little bit. I practiced at Simon's as well, just to kind of let it out a little bit. They didn't like it. They said it could be more supple to contact. So, yeah, he was starting to slightly come against me a little bit, but... We didn't break into a jog, which we have done before. Um, they didn't like this drawing neck back through into trot, which it wasn't terrible. But yeah, I agree. It all could be a bit more long and low and flow and kind of what we got in the warm up. But as I said, this will come. Um, he now knows that we were cantering there and did a lovely transition there. Um, and just got a seven and obedient. And then we got a seven for our camp as well, regular steps. Um, but then we got a 6.5 for this, which was the transition back to trot over X because it said against hand, which, yeah, that is a classic case of me having to ride forward into the downward transition and not what I just did because that was really quite terrible um, and then this is my last uh, center line well it's kind of like a wonky center line to G and we got six for my halt because it wasn't quite on the center line but I learned from last time just go back to halt and pat and salute no salute as soon as possible um, and yeah, I'm so happy with him. It'd be interesting to see, so you're suffering canter to trot. That's very stilted. Yeah, I know. And you said, whoa. Yeah. And then acid <laughs> Yeah. So you probably, you were anticipating him being harder. I need to ride yes. into the transitions yes. instead of... But I, I mean, I'm quite, I'm reasonably happy with that. I'm much happier with this one than the last one here. Yes, I think we managed to ride him accordingly. And um, it was a little part that was very nice. Hello. You are right. So dressage is done. Um, I am reasonably happy with it. I'm happier than I was the last time I was here. Um, I think we both know, Justine, where I need to work on. Yeah, I thought, I thought you rode a very good task because he, he was working in nicely. We stopped to have a walk and unfortunately when you picked him back up, he got a little bit tense, mm. which is, you know, the danger is that that can happen. Um, but I think he deserved a walk, so, you know, you couldn't do anything about it. So I think you rode a nice test. Uh, I think there are areas we can definitely improve. I think you go in there and you don't ride him quite the same as what you do in a lesson situation. So you've got to try and dare yourself to ask a bit more of him. Yeah. Um, but other, other than that, I thought it was nice. It was nice, a couple of areas that, you know, little mistakes, but on the whole, it wasn't a bad test. Thanks, I'm guessing a 36. Oh, I'm not even guessing, because I was trying to guess all sorts yesterday. I thought my judge was beaming from ear to ear. I thought, marvellous. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that didn't equate. I think she was just a very cheerful lady. No, but you got a 33. That's not bad. It wasn't great in my section. Well, well, 
I don't know. I'd say that felt like a 36 to me. I would say that definitely felt like a, a 32. I'm going for 32. Oh, that's nice. That's nice, isn't it, Ember? How'd you do, Carla? I went wrong twice. Huh? I went wrong twice. No, didn't. Yay. Well, we survived. Well done. The yep. judge was laughing at the end, which is never really a good sign. I think well. he was just relieved that it was over. <laughs> Crying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, they could have been tears. Yeah. <laughs> I might have just been looking on the positive. Uh, never well, mind, it was well. jumping. Yeah, that's the fun bit. Come on then, what are we doing? Should I undo my tail as well? Yes. So he can breathe. Do you need, I need to get you some scissors. I need, I need you to get some scissors, thanks. Okay, so I've just walked the course for the show jump here. It looks very nice. Um, and I've got about 20 minutes before I'm on. So, need to get a wiggle on now. Um, but yeah, I didn't film the course walk because I was concentrating. Because Justine said, Lucy, keep your head up. So I was like, okay, I won't film it then. But it's just around show jumps, guys. So, it's all I'm thinking. Oh, Rob's disappeared into the loo. Right, let's go. Yeah, be firm enough, yeah? joins us now, Lucy Robinson riding her own Ember's Glow. Yeah, no, he said, he said, I think I might drop this. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Yeah. If you want to head in, good luck. Good luck. Oh, yeah. Okay, five, 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 isn't it? Once you jump seven, if you head your way in. Six, oh, oh five, you've got one. Seven, oh two, you've got two. <laughs>
now we're getting ready for cross country. Might have a full debrief of the show jumping after because we're just trying out these new Steuben hybrid cross country boots. Um, I said I'll wear my normal ones and then Justine saw those and was like actually definitely try those. They're nice, they feel nice. Why? Um, they've got a really nice <laughs> line. So they're, yeah. they're, 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 they're just slightly got a bit little bit cushier lining. I quite like them. So yeah, yeah it's good and as I've um, thank you very much Steuben. Mm. Mine's in the post. <laughs> you can borrow them. Do you want, do you want me to give you my address? Yeah. <laughs> Borrow them on my own. <laughs> okay. It's got an anatomical design, non rigid construction contours, legs without restricting range of motion in the fetlock. Do you know that? Well, we can't have restriction in the fetlock, can we, Amber? Well, I'd, I'd hate to think that you're putting them over the fetlock, but there yeah. you go. Um, yeah, I like them. They feel nice and spongy. I will have to have my normal overreach boots on them because. They didn't give me any of those. <laughs> You can't, you can't. Let's give a big footloose eventing thank you to the team at Equi Reel for providing my full cross country round so that I can give you a full debrief of every single fence. So as you saw the uh, start box prior, the acrobatics were a little bit uh, acrobatic, but actually on the whole, he's so much better at the start box now and we're going straight and there's a lot less leaping. Um, so these first few fences, felt so nice and actually 
if you go back and have a look at my course walk video, these fences were a full up 90 um, and they were a little bit technical. So this is obviously the most technical course and the biggest course that we've done. Um, and this was the little offset double with two strides in between. And look, it's just at this point, we have such a lovely rhythm. Now, I'm going to have to replay this fence a few times because this is our first near on sticking. Now, the joy of these equi reel rounds is that you can get a blow by blow account of every fence. And if you do have a funny moment like this or a bit of a funny jump, you can go back and you can have a look and you can analyze. And that's what I'm doing. So what I'm thinking is I'm holding him from quite far back. Um, and instead of doing what I've done in training, which is kind of just soften a little bit here, I think it made him unsure of what to go on. So I'm going to take that back and I'm going to learn from that. But actually he was very clever with his legs and it didn't affect him. So well done, Ember. Anyway, so we carried on after that. And this was um, another combination, which was a rail to a ditch. And this ditch was getting a few looks, but I just a little bit with the leg here. And then it was a nice sweeping line um, to the left. I had to remember to turn left to this roll top, which he did so nicely. This fence was really big and actually it wasn't much difference to the 100, but he jumped it really nicely. But then this line here was horrible. Like the turn was so difficult and this was quite a big kind of, you can't really see it, it's like a skinny arrowhead, and I came at it on a complete angle, and he just popped it like an absolute legend. Um, so I still have relatively good breaks by this point, and he's looking at the fences, he did a bit of a funny jump over that. Um, the trichina, a little bit of leg, but it was a very lovely, inviting trichina. Then there was a bit of a bowl through the woods, and this is where I... I admit it, I didn't have that much control. You can see he's kind of just firing now on all cylinders. Um, this fence 12 here was the smallest on the course, I think. And he just is like, wee! Um, and coming round to this corner at 13, I was a bit scared because I was like, I really struggling with the, with the kind of setup now. But actually, he makes it look really nice and really easy. Um, so, I mean, if it looks easy from the outside, then I'm doing a good job because I was struggling here. Um, not going to lie. And you can tell I'm getting weaker because I'm kind of collapsing before the fence. And I'm just kind of letting him go on whichever stride we get to the fence at, which is not what we're supposed to do because... I need to maintain an element of control. So I need to get fitter and stronger for this boy <laughs> so that I can support us both because he's still very inexperienced relatively. Um, so he needs as much help from me as possible. However, I do manage to get him back to trot here because I know that I'm probably up on the time now um, and I can trot through the water and I know that he can trot and pop. So um, although we do come back to a nice canter there. Um, and then obviously this was at the end where I was screaming and I was coming up the hill and I was like, oh my God, I'm going to die. But actually it was fine <laughs> because we plopped off there. I collapsed like a sack of rubbish on his back. Um, but we made it through the finish where you can't see me struggling to stop after. So thank you so much, Equiril. I really enjoyed reliving that super round. Not having the best of round. <laughs> Only at the end. So, no, for all accumulation of the juice or stuff, that's the elimination. No breaks. No breaks. I'm dizzy. To be fair, you look like you've got breaks to start with, and they did run yeah. out. They did. Yeah. They ran out after he so had a really bad jump at that time. So, so you when he goes, uh, goes Charlotte Lamin. Can you remember what you predicted for your dressage? And what did I predict? Uh, coming to 32. Oh, really? That's 2.3. Oh, nice. That was good. Much better than last time. That was good. You're currently in eighth place. No way. I mean, I don't expect to hold that back. You were so good. That was good. That's awesome. Um, I'll, let me wash them off and then I'll explain my thoughts with that round. <laughs> well, we've been the whole time. The first half of that cross country course was very enjoyable. Yeah. 
the second half was slightly less enjoyable because I made the fatal error of letting him out a little bit. Well, letting him, yeah, I let him out a bit just to bowl on. I thought, oh, this is nice. And then when we had that near near miss at fence five before the ditch, the yeah, yeah, table, yeah, yeah, the table. And then I thought, no, come on. And then. He jumped, he, everything. The, he jumped everything. He jumped everything. Good amazingly. at the water. Very good at the water. Yeah. Came back to trot. <laughs> and then he had to sail for the finish. I, to, I came around the corner and I was screaming, I can't! Can you just do that? Can you just insert that on repeat? Yeah. And you have me going, you can! So bad. <laughs> but <clears throat> I've also, guys, I did a course walk video, which if you want to see it, I probably should have mentioned that before. That I've said this now, but I've done a course walk, and um, in the course walk video, Justine said, "Let him bowl on up the hill, push him up the hill, push him up the hill to fence 17, push him." I didn't have to push him. Up. <laughs> he, he did jump it very nicely. He jumped it very nicely, yeah. and then I, I think I've got concussion whiplash from going down that drop because I land. How do you? I need to learn how to land that because I think he just well, sit up. Well, yeah, but I went doof, and I was like, yes, oh. the gym. You're asking the wrong person. I'm the one that collapses after the fences with the siren said, but you, you, you've got to go to the gym and strengthen your core. Well, anyway, cheers, guys. Cheers, well cheers, done. Uh, well cheers. Done, well done. Can't wait to see Izzy's footage. Yes. Izzy D Photography, guys. Yeah. From one and only. Yeah. Um, but yeah, well thank, done. thank you. And thank you, Jesse, actually, for coming with me. Right, guys, we have wrapped up had a coffee and everything and it's not even 11 o'clock yet so we're going home yay um i've just i've checked eventing scores we're currently in the top 10 which is nice but it was never about scores today for me it was just to get around and have a nice time uh hang on now yes what way should i do my very handsome assistant are you gonna get him off for me he says, hurry up, I need a wig, got my willy out. <laughs> then you just un unflippy de do that one. That's it. Well done. And nice and steady down the ramp. Good boys. Well done. Now we'll get the... Oh, boy. Is it going in there? Yeah. Got one here. Good boy, Amber. Well done. That's it. Head collar off, I'll skip him out actually. He says, I'm desperate for a wee. <laughs> so desperate. Good boy. All right, Bon, we're back now. Hello. Hello, good girl. Oh, good boy. You having a wee wee? Yeah. Right, on. Oh. Camera off you for a minute. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. We love that. What a wonderful day. Um, I've just had. So, got the sheet here. I actually remembered to pick it up for once in my life. Uh, the comments were rhythmic paces now needs more suppleness to, to contact for high marks, which I 100% agree with. Um, but that will come. I think it's a darn sight better than our last. Um, performance a little down wasn't it hey from both of us actually actually couldn't be more happy with how he was today and um, I have achieved my goal which was to do a B90 and we've done that and it's only August so we've done it before the end of the season which is good and Jess I just on the phone to Jess um, Life on the Buckle Jess and she said that apparently little Downham if you're stepping up is like a ballsy one to do because it's quite big and um yeah so we don't have to worry now because we've done the big we've done the big one tick i know it's not the size of the fences i think we're just going to work on again i just need that little bit more control because um you know i could get him back to me but i would say it's a struggle and i am going to be stiff tomorrow let's put it like that but anyway thanks guys so much for joining along big thank you to izzy and that engine is very noisy <laughs> that's better ah peace and quiet last um and thank you to rob for 
coming with me today and obviously thank you to Justine for again holding my hand every step of the way um, it is great when you have a whole support network behind you and it makes things a lot nicer and a lot more fun um, oh and thank you to the coffee man at Little Downham again for the best in my opinion you haven't eaten yours yet have you no I have mine later oh. this cornflake cake guys oh, it is the best anyway right we're gonna we've got lunch to get to so um yeah thanks for tuning in and um here's to next time which is another secret event <laughs> today i haven't planned it anyway right say bye bye bye, 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 bye. bye.